Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to transform this daytime makeup to an evening look. This is what I've been wearing all day. It's already nighttime. This look is very, very simple. So it's like too natural if you're going somewhere to an event for like an evening party or like an evening event. If you're coming from the office or school, you have at least like 15 to 30 minutes. This is what you can do. This is my brow since afternoon. So I am just going to darken that with this brow pencil. You can even go in with a brow powder. So adding like tiny brow hairs. The only thing that I have on my skin is my BB cream concealer and powder and a little bit of blush, but that's it. I don't really have a lot of time to remove my foundation anymore. My skin started to feel oily. It's now okay to retouch your foundation or your concealer. You know, after you do your makeup, your face is really matte already. You set your face with powder. Now it's like a little bit oily. I'm gonna use that natural oil on my skin. I can now apply foundation because it's going to blend in retouching the areas that i want more coverage i used this bb cream today i used the misha one i didn't even put too much but since we're doing an evening makeup look it's okay to apply more foundation i am going to take this foundation this one is the she glam complexion pro matte foundation and i'm just going to spread this all over my forehead this is where i apply foundation the least just because i don't really need uh too much coverage here it's not really a problematic area for me so i apply here less during the day but now that i want more full coverage and like i said it's an evening look i am applying extra on my forehead so okay to wear thicker foundations for evening makeup because like it's gonna be dark Whereas if it's the daytime, it's better if you let your skin breathe and then just let your natural skin show through. And then I am going to go back to this concealer. This is the, the Sam concealer. I'm just going to add more on my under eyes just to brighten that area a little bit more. I find it so nice, like especially at night when this area is highlighted. It looks really good for like heavier makeup looks, especially if you're wearing like um, smoky makeup. A little bit of this concealer goes a long way. It's my current favorite. This is now part of my daily makeup routine. I can do this all in just 10 to 15 minutes if I'm not filming a tutorial for this look but since I have to explain everything it's taking longer than usual. I'm just going to set this with this AOA setting powder. It's just a translucent powder but I feel like it makes my face look lighter for some reason what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna make my eyes look a little bit smoky before that i am gonna go back to my nose contour and then just do my nose contour again just after i apply the foundation and powder my face just looks so flat i'm gonna use the same brown right here this is the same shade that i used to contour my nose now i'm just going to contour my eyes my lids get a little bit oily at the end of the day so now that is the one that's making my eyeshadow out here but if you have the chance use concealer or eyeshadow primer so now i'm taking a smaller brush and i am going to get the same light brown shade i am going to apply that right here under also want to apply a little bit more right here just to smoke out even more all right so there you go i'm going to take this shade right here it's like a dark bronzy gold shade right here it's a really pretty color tap off the excess then i'm gonna use this black here and I am going to apply that on the outer corner and I'm going to also slightly line my eyes with this. So I don't know if you guys can see but I am going to slightly line my eyes like that. I want this look to be smoky but not super heavy. A little bit of that right here. Just here, from here to here. So, a little bit more here and also on the inner corner. I'm trying to avoid the center of my eyes because I don't want my eyes to look big. Just adding more. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Press Powder in the shade Cafe. I'm going to slightly contour. Is there such word as bronzer? Like bronzer slash contour. So I am 
contouring but also like bronzing my face at the same time so it's not such a heavy contour. Okay, for blush, I'm going to use the Miniso Color Me blusher in the shade, um, what's this? Number two, I guess. This has been my favorite blush. I'm using the same brush, by the way. I think that the brows are too light for an evening look. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take the same palette. See, I'm just using one palette until now. I'm going to take this gray right here, fill in my brows using this. Ooh, that's actually a nice color for my brows. I just want to like make my brows look thicker and also darker because I have sparse areas here and that is where I need the black. And I am going to use this spoolie brush to blend out. It's way too harsh here so I need this spoolie here. First, I'm going to apply lipstick. I'm using the MAC Mare lipstick. This is one of the best nudes out there. Ooh, I love this lipstick. Actually, now that I have it on, I feel like I just want to keep it this way and not apply gloss anymore. I actually think it looks good as is, so we're gonna leave it like that. Another thing that you can do is apply glitter. So I have this one. This is the Roto Eyeshadow Palette in number 3. This one has glitters in it. This one, I am going to add some of that on my lids just to add a little bit of shimmer. Hopefully, it will stick. Oh, there you go. Let's apply a tiny bit of that. There you go, that looks so much better now. For an evening look, I love glitter so much. I am obsessed. I'm actually really surprised that this glitter eyeshadow sticks. You don't even need glitter primer anymore. This brand actually has a palette that has like full, like all shimmer shades. And I'm planning to get that really soon. That's the glitter on my eyes. You can now officially call this the evening makeup. You can even go darker than this. It's really up to you. I'm looking at myself in my phone screen now. And honestly, it looks so much more natural and so much more subtle on camera. But when I'm looking at myself in the mirror now, it looks so much different. It looks so much heavier in real life. For some reason, the camera takes away the heaviness of your makeup by at least 10 to 20 percent it looks so much heavier in real life and it's just so sad that i was not able to take a before photo something i can use for my cover picture but i really like how it turned out and i hope you guys like it too so thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video and i'll see you guys again next time bye